Hi, happy uh, happy Friday. Um, we're gonna give it just a like a minute or two to see if anyone else is gonna tune in here. But um, today we're gonna do another attorney feature. So I hope you guys are excited. We're gonna get to know Alexis a little more. Um, you know, she's been giving us a lot of good information in these live videos over the last couple weeks, couple months. Um, and oh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> Technology. Okay. Um, so we just are going to get to know a little bit more about her though. Um, she is the founder of Right Law. Um, you know, she's got all those good ideas and she's, you know, the brains behind the operation. So, um, I think our, we might have to take it off of, um, off of Wi-Fi for that one. Okay. Here. Oh, look, Andrew's with us. Hey, Hi. Andrew. Hi. Technology never works when you want it to. <laughs> um, here, we'll give it another Yeah, we're second. trying to do the dual live stream yeah. with Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> so fancy. I know. I mean, we can do, we can just. We can just go. Just, yeah. yeah, here. Okay, we're live on Instagram now. again, let's sort see, of, maybe. Let's see how much that catches up with us, how much it works. But um, yeah, we're going to get to going um, for all of our Facebook viewers, at least. We'll see if this Instagram also um, catches up with us. So I have a couple questions. Um, yeah. I mean, also, I'd like to know, but for our viewers here. Um, so the first thing is just kind of generally, where are you from and what brings you here to this area? So I'm originally from Tennessee. I grew up um, on the border of Tennessee and Kentucky in a town called Barron Plains. We had a store, so we were real fancy. Um, I grew up next to cows. But then my family <laughs> moved south towards Nashville um, when I was in high school, and then I stayed around Nashville um, went to school in Memphis, so I'm, I'm very much a Southern girl. Yeah. I actually moved out here to Colorado for law school and went to DU Law, and then I just kind of, I got stuck out here. I love it. So, we gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to leave once you're already here. Yeah. Um, no, that's good. That's good to know, because I know a lot of people are transplants, and you kind of understand Colorado, so it's, you, you stay. Once you're yeah. here, you stay. Yeah. So I think I've been here now, what, 11 years? Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. So. That's great. Um, so the next thing is more about Colorado is what is your favorite thing about living and working here? Like what's your favorite just thing about being here? The thing that first drew me to Colorado and it's one of the selling points that DU Law gives us is they say, you know, we have more than 300 days of sunshine a year, but yeah. it's so true. I yeah. love it. Like even back home, we, you know, we have cloudy and overcast days, but here it's always... I love how sunny it is. I love how the air feels, just yeah. how crisp it feels. Because <laughs> when you, like when I fly into Nashville or Memphis and I'm going home and I step off the plane, it feels like the air just sits on you, all that oh, humidity. Yeah. So if I love If you've been, that. you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love it here. It's just crisp and clean and you can breathe and you yeah. don't feel all the stickiness. Um, so I really love that. And I also love, as far as working here, I love how... I actually think that Nashville and Denver have similar kind of vibes and Colorado Springs also has this it's kind of a small town feel even though it's a larger town yeah, definitely. so I grew up in a very small town I like the small town feel of Colorado Springs as opposed to Denver because it's where I feel more comfortable yeah. um, so it feels more like our big town of yeah. like Springfield. <laughs> um, but I, I just like that small town feel and feeling the ability to be close and connect with people without having to sit in traffic for hours yes. to get through Denver. Here you can just drive wherever, see your people within 20 minutes. And like everything's within like 20 yeah. minutes of where And no you matter are. where you drive, I always know directions now because I never ever knew directions. <laughs> but now I know west is the mountains, so I'm always good. I can always say north, south, east, and west. Uh, whereas back home, we don't have... Um, in Nashville, things weren't laid out on grids yeah. like they were out here because okay. Colorado was one of the later states, so it was planned. Yeah. So you can like figure out where the roads are. In Tennessee, all of our roads are windy, kind of like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the waffle approach <laughs> of being able to navigate. It's good, it's good, it's good. So you don't get as lost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at least I can always find my way home with the mountains. <laughs> there we go. Um, so the next question is more like law focused. Um, so what's something we asked Dan this as well and I'm gonna get this um, answer from all of our attorneys is what do you wish like people knew what do you what's something you wish people knew before hiring a criminal defense attorney because I know a lot of times it's people's first time and like, you don't know what to expect you don't know what you're going into it's like what do you wish people knew coming into this when hiring the big thing that I talk about with clients is I wish that clients understood that at least for our firm I don't know how all other firms operate mm -hmm. but for our firm we are not gonna judge you 
We're not going to make you feel bad about what happened. We work mostly with first time offenders yeah. or someone who has a traffic accident or a DUI or a domestic violence charge for the very first time. And what I wish people knew is you don't have to feel scared calling an attorney. We are real people. That's why we do these lives. So you can get to know us and see, hey, we're real human beings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I wish that they knew it's not a scary thing. It doesn't have to be scary. And you don't have to feel small or talked down to. I think a lot of lawyers, we go through this training and we have been taught to think legally, but we don't know how to speak like a normal human anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people can feel off put by talking to a lawyer because they're using all of these large words and yeah. Latin words on yeah. top of it. <laughs> um, but what I wish I knew is at least for our firm, if people call our firm, you're gonna be treated like a normal human by a normal human because that's the most important component, I think, of practicing law is making sure that you build that trust with your client and the only way you can build trust is by showing, hey, we're normal people too. Yeah. So a lot of the times when I'm talking to, to clients, I tell them, you know, but for the grace of God, there go I. If it weren't, you know, some different sort of circumstances, we've all done really stupid things in our lives, yeah. uh, especially <laughs> lawyers in law school. So I can say, like, I completely understand how you're feeling and I can completely empathize with what you're going through because I probably should have been there too in a lot of these situations. Yeah. Um, and Lord knows traffic tickets, like I have been there repeatedly, yes. I have a problem <laughs> <Me> driving, <too. laughs> I'm a terrible driver, so, yeah. um, and I tell my clients, like there's, there's no shame in that, like yeah, I'm a terrible driver, that's why I have great endurance, and yeah. I just <laughs> keep going through, yeah. um, so that's really the big thing, is I wish people knew that you don't have to feel afraid to talk to your attorney, because number one, everything you tell us is confidential anyway, but number two, we're humans here not to judge you, but to help you get back on track. Yeah. There's not a lot that surprises us anymore. No. <laughs> I have so many like, people. Like I, have I a, will say, like, you think it, we have heard worse. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, and people okay. always, they're like, they come in and we, we have strategy sessions with our clients where after we get discovered, we sit down for a couple of hours and review everything with them. And so many of the times, my clients will come in and they'll start, they'll say something and they'll start to cuss. And then they look at me like, oh no. And I was like, I'm a lawyer. Like this is literally yes. what I do for a living. Cuss, be yourself, be yeah. whoever you are. Your authentic self. Because if you're, yeah, if you're not being you, then you're not going to be able to trust me. So talk how you talk, dress how you are. Yeah. If I need to give you advice on how to tweak things for court, I will. But in our office, you be you. Yeah. Like, and we don't, Definitely. we don't worry about potty mouths. No. That's part of the business. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Yeah. Um, no, that's good to know. I really like. I think you're coming into a hard part of your life when you have to hire a criminal defense and we are people too like you said like yeah. and we're not we're not judgmental so um no, i really i really like that so like i said in the beginning of the video alexis is the brains behind right law group she came up with the idea put this all in motion here we are three years later so my question is kind of like how did right law group come to be what kind of put this in motion what gave you the idea what got it going um, I know it's that, a big question. I get that but, question a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty big. Um, so first, a lot of lawyers name their law firms after themselves. Um, my name is Alexis Austin. This is not Austin Law. Mm -hmm. Number one, because Austin is a first name. Number two, <laughs> it's a city in Texas and we're not in Texas. And number three, most importantly, is I wanted to build a company first and foremost. So we're a company that practices law. With a company, I think it's different than a law firm because a company has certain ways of doing things, certain standards, and the company can exist no matter who's in it, mm -hmm. as long as you follow our, our procedures and standards. So my idea is, and my team at Right Law Group will tell you, I always use the, if you're hit by a bus, like if I'm hit by a bus tomorrow, Right Law Group will continue because what we're building is something that is here to serve our clients and it's based on doing things the right way, getting on the right path, and even though I tell people all the time, good people make bad decisions, but there's a right way to go about fixing it. Yeah. So Right Law Group really came about as a brand because we believe that there's a right path, you can get back on that path. Um, we believe that there's a right way of doing things with our clients. And as a company, we believe there's a right way of doing things. So we do differently, uh, do things differently for our team members, yeah. um, not just our clients. So we have a semi-virtual law firm so that people can work from home in their yoga pants whenever they want because we believe that that's the right yeah. way to do it. Like, I mean, yeah, we get all nice yeah. and pretty for our, our things <laughs> here, but like you may have just heard my dog barking in the background. I bring my dogs to the yeah. office because yeah. what we're trying to build here is above and beyond what the stereotypical law firm is. It's yeah. not about Alexis Austin or Daniel Layshock. It's not our names, it's our brand and the company that backs it. No matter who comes in and who is joining our firm, we are all operating along the same lines and that's doing the right thing by our clients and getting them on the right path. Yeah. 
at the same time, we are not the right fit for everyone. And I don't mean that cheesy. It's just yeah. some yeah. people expect a certain vibe and a certain feel. Some people say, well, I want a, a law firm that has the named lawyer on my case. Yeah. We don't even have a named lawyer because it's a brand and it's a, it's an overall way of doing things. Yeah. Um, so just as I try to find the right people to fit in our company, we also are looking for the right clients for our company. Yeah. We don't want people who are saying, well, I just want you to get me out of everything. We want people who say, this is honestly what happened. This is what I'm looking for. And I just need help getting back on track. Yeah. And for those clients, they are the right client for us. We can get them on the right path. We can get them set and going. And really it's kind of like a course correction. So that's how the idea came about is I didn't want us to be just a stereotypical firm with the named lawyers of so-and-so, so-and-so, yeah. like the three names. Yeah. I wanted it to be something memorable that people could say, oh, I know the right person for you. Yeah. Easy, very, very easy, but it's not as cheesy as some of the other <laughs> lawyers that have all these gimmicks. Yeah. It's not a gimmick. It's a way of life and it's a way that we operate. Yeah. Um, the thing with, with our colors and everything about us is we're very, very... Colorado. Yeah. So we are all about making sure our right law group has the path. It's like hiking through the yeah. woods. <laughs> going through a criminal case is very much like going down this path. And for those of us who are, are hikers, we know there are some parts that get real steep and real sticky yeah. and you're trying to scramble up it. But if you've got the right guide with you, you can get through it. And so that's really, even with the, ide the ideolo ideology behind mm -hmm. our firm, uh, the ideological perspective that we take, we bring that also into our brand and our color because we're trying to say, okay, this is what we are. We are this this group that is based in Colorado. All of our colors are greens and, and that kind of forest feel that we have here in Colorado Springs. And we incorporate the idea of a path and getting on the right path through everything that we do. Yeah. Um, so that's where the idea came from. And then once you, once we got into it, it was very easy to say, okay, if this is our brand and this is what we're doing, we're doing the right thing by the right clients, yeah. the right way every time, everything else just flows out naturally. Yeah. So that's, that's really how we developed it. Yeah. Trying to be a little bit different, but not, we're setting ourselves apart from firms, but we are familiar to anyone who's in Colorado and anyone who knows what it's like to be off the path and want to get back on track. Yeah, definitely. And I can, I'm like, I can vouch for that as an employee coming into this, <laughs> like, it's like, you know, I was a little nervous coming in, like, oh, they're going to be like hard asses or something. And it's like, we are all like pieces of a puzzle, making sure that we're all focused on that, the right path, the right everything. And like you said, working from home, all that, like, it's all right. It's the right way to do it. Like, yeah. it. It really is. And, and that's, I mean, what I tell our team. You can team, tell coming into that yeah. too. And I'm sure you've seen this, yeah. but what I tell our team is we're trying to build up something where our team feels comfortable. Yeah. So our firm is not just here to serve our clients, it's here to serve our team because if I'm doing everything possible to make sure our team feels comfortable working from home, getting full health benefits, getting the best salary that they can, they are going to be in a better position. If they are in the right place in life, they're gonna be in a better position to make sure that our clients are in the right position. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we're happy and healthy and successful so that our clients can then benefit from us being there and giving our all to them. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was great. I'm like, I want our viewers to know where this is, where we're coming from, what our firm comes from, where obviously our attorneys and all that support. Um, so for to kind of wrap this up, we're gonna go a little more like, we're gonna be a little more fun and just what do you do in your free time? What do you like to do? You say you're in Colorado, you love this, all that. What do you do to fill your time? Um, you know, um, you're a person, you wanna know. <laughs> so I, I've actually changed quite a bit. I used to, be very different. Sadly, I read a lot of business books in my free time. Okay. Um, every single morning I wake up and I do about an hour of like independent self work and self study. Um, so every day I'm doing at least an hour of business development or self improvement, um, just to make sure that I'm providing my best version of myself for the team. Um, but for recreational things, and I actually enjoy that. Like I like learning about. <laughs> That's how recreational for you. <laughs> it's recreational. Anytime I'm driving, anyone who gets in the car with me knows. If you get in my car, I'm listening to a podcast or I'm listening to a management book. Yes. Or, um, but I also like to camp. I like to hike. Um, I really like cooking. I haven't been doing that as much as I should recently. Um, I kind of get stuck with my same few dishes. But my biggest things, especially in Colorado, hiking and camping. Yeah. Um, Camping back home, there are lots and lots of mosquitoes and it's sticky and it's hot. Yes. Here, camping is just the best thing ever. You yes. get out there, you turn off all access to, well, I mean, you really can't <laughs> access anything. Um, and just fun. having that quiet time alone in the, in the mountains is just my favorite thing. So yes. that's, 
and you know going to all the different things that we have to offer i love that colorado is so diverse and you could do so many things like last month we went to lake pueblo yeah and we were on yeah. the reservoir and having a great time and then i'm going down to grand junction with my family soon because there's all these great wineries in grand junction like yeah, there's just great. so much diversity and things that you can do yeah you just never get bored so. yeah no i like that i think um i mean i think it makes you a great boss it's like you need to be able to like take time enjoy where you are and come and like you know refocus recenter make sure that you're taking care of too because do a good job take care of us <laughs> um and this is how we can like roll so smoothly and put these on and all that kind of stuff so um yeah that was kind of all i had we just you know a good general idea of who you are um and i know you guys watching like our next videos or our previous ones you get to know her a little bit more um but our next feature is um gonna be our newest attorney jimmy so we're gonna kind of have similar questions and just like a more of a get to know you sit down uh, more casual but also it's so you know who you're working with and who's on your team and who's supporting you and i think we're doing this with everyone in our in our firm right yep yep so the first round were the like attorney attorney features and then um i think we're gonna go around and get kind of more feel for the rest of the team so um, yeah, I'll be interviewing everyone else as well. So I think that's fun. so huge too because I mean a lot of people they get to see their attorney So like they see me they see Dan they see Jimmy, but they don't get to see you They don't get to see our paralegals our yeah. legal assistants. So I'm excited team this all around team yeah. this And is, this is who you get you just hired yeah. another team member yeah, who's starting in a week. So it's gonna so be great exciting. But yeah, awesome. Yeah, we'll see you guys um, when we're uh, interviewing Jimmy I hope everyone has a safe and happy weekend um, Make good choices <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys